Unix is a family of multitasking, multi-user computer operating systems that originated from the initial AT&T Unix project, initiated in 1969 at the Bell Labs Research Center by Ken Thompson, Dennis Ritchie, and others. It was first aimed for internal use within the Bell system, but was later licensed to external parties in the late 1970s, resulting in various academic and commercial Unix versions from different vendors such as University of California, Berkeley, BSD, Microsoft, Xenix, Sun Microsystems, SunOS, Solaris, HP, HPE, HPUX, and IBM, AIX. Initially running on machines like the PDP-11 and VAX, Unix set itself apart by being the first portable operating system primarily coded in the C programming language in 1973, enabling its deployment across diverse platforms. Unix systems are recognized for their modular architecture, often termed the Unix philosophy, advocating for simple tools with distinct functions. This approach is supported by a unified inode-based file system, interprocess communication via pipes, and a shell scripting and command language, Unix shell, for combining tools into intricate workflows. Following the development of version 7 in 1979, which marked the end of widely distributed research Unix, AT&T commercially introduced Unix System 3 in 1982 based on version 7, and later amalgamated several versions to form Unix System 5 in 1983 to streamline the Unix variants. The industry saw the emergence of Unix System V Release 4, SVR4, in 1989 after a period of contention known as the Unix Wars, where AT&T and Sun consolidated features from System V, BSD, Sun OS, and Xenix. Despite the launch of a competitor, OSF Fatum 1, Unix System V with BSD components gained prevalence among commercial Unix vendors. Unix gathered momentum in the 1990s with appearances on personal computers like i386 machines. Notably, Unix-like systems like FreeBSD and Linux combined with GNU have grown in popularity, surpassing traditional Unix implementations. Although Unix dominated the server operating system market until 2005, contemporary Unix distributions like IBM AIX, Oracle Solaris, and OpenServer persist in specific fields. Unix was originally created to serve as a convenient platform for software developers, aiming to create programs that could run not only on Unix itself, but also on other systems. Its scope expanded within academic circles as users contributed their own tools and shared them, gradually transforming Unix. Initially lacking support for multitasking and portability, Unix evolved to incorporate these functionalities, along with a time-sharing configuration and multi-user capabilities. The system is known for utilizing plain text for data storage, featuring a hierarchical file system, and treating devices and inter-process communication as files. Unix is also distinguished by employing numerous software tools, small programs interconnected through a command line interpreter using pipes. These principles collectively form the Unix philosophy, highlighting the significance of relationships among programs over individual program capabilities. By the early 1980s, Unix began to be viewed as a potential universal operating system suitable for computers of all sizes. Its client-server model and environment played pivotal roles in shaping the Internet and transitioning computing towards network-centric paradigms. Developed by AT&T, both Unix and the C programming language were widely distributed to academic and government institutions, subsequently leading to their porting on diverse machine families. The Unix operating system is comprised of various libraries, utilities, and the kernel, the master control program. The kernel manages program initiation and termination, file system operations, and other foundational tasks shared by most programs. It also coordinates resource access to prevent conflicts among programs attempting simultaneous access to the same resource or device by segregating kernel space from user space. The roots of Unix trace back to the mid-1960s during the Multics project, where researchers at Bell Labs opted to distill their experience into a more manageable project. Initially without a formal sponsor or title, the new single-tasking system was coined Unix as wordplay on Multics. The creation of Unix marked a shift towards simplicity and efficiency, especially evident with the rewrite of version 4 Unix in the C language in 1973. Despite early challenges in porting due to C's evolving nature, subsequent versions like Unix version 6 saw successful ports to other platforms, marking the beginning of diverse Unix implementations, including 
Research Unix versions. The influence of Unix in academic settings during the late 1970s and early 1980s spurred its adoption by commercial startups, leading to Unix branching into multiple, partly incompatible systems like Dynix, HPUX, and AIX. Subsequent collaborations between AT&T Unix System Laboratories and Sun Microsystems culminated in System Fee Release 4, SVR4, in the late 1980s, adopted by various commercial Unix vendors. The 1990s witnessed Unix's rise in popularity, with BSD and Linux distributions emerging through global programmer cooperation. Noteworthy mentions include the development of Darwin by Apple in 2000, forming the foundation for the macOS operating system. Unix-like systems are widely embraced in contemporary servers, workstations, and mobile devices, showcasing their enduring relevance in modern computing landscapes. Unix's standardization journey witnessed the establishment of POSIX as a common framework for operating systems in the late 1980s, aligning various Unix variants under a unified structure. This initiative culminated in the single Unix specification, SUS, under the Open Group's administration, enhancing interoperability across Unix-based systems. The adoption of SVR4's executable and linkable format, ELF, by Unix system vendors in 1999 fostered binary compatibility, enabling seamless operation across diverse Unix platforms sharing the same CPU architecture. Complementing these efforts, the file system hierarchy standard provided a standardized directory layout primarily utilized in Linux distributions. The Unix system comprises various components originally packaged together to form a self-contained software system. It includes the development environment, libraries, documents, portable source code, and the operating system kernel. This comprehensive nature made Unix an invaluable tool for teaching and learning, leading to its significant influence in the world of computing. Despite the inclusion of these components, the original v7 Unix distribution occupied less than 10 method hours, containing compiled binaries, source code, and documentation on a single 9-track magnetic tape, showcasing its portability. The structure of Unix components has undergone substantial changes over time, with the v7 implementation having a canonical early layout. The kernel resided in JotUSRSys and was divided into conf for configuration and machine-dependent parts. Dev for device drivers, Sys for the core operating system functions, and H for key system structure definitions. The development environment of early Unix versions encompassed essential tools like ED for text editing, CC for C language compilation, as for assembly language, LD for linking, and Lib for object code libraries. Moreover, V7 Unix introduced the foundational standard I.O. library SDO alongside other key elements like make for automating builds, include files for standard interfaces, and system invariants. Beyond these, Unix supported various programming languages, including Fortran 77, along with tools like BC, DC for calculations, and the AUK scripting language. The system also incorporated utilities like a build manager, Object Code Archive Manager, Symbol Table Lister, Compiler Development Tools, and Debugging Tools to facilitate software development. Unix commands encompassed a wide array of functionalities, ranging from system maintenance to general utilities and applications. The Shell SH served as the primary user interface, while core utilities like CP, LS, GareEP, and Find formed the backbone of the Unix command set. Furthermore, Unix excelled in document formatting with programs like NROF, TROF, TBL, EQN, REFER, and PIC, while also supporting graphics capabilities through vector plots and later on, including packages like TEX and GhostScript. In terms of communication, Unix evolved from providing limited inter-user communication tools to incorporating systems like UUCP for inter-system communication and TCP IP utilities in later releases. Unix revolutionized the accessibility of documentation by offering all manuals online in machine-readable formats, including manual pages for commands, libraries, system calls, header files, 
extended documents detailing major subsystems, and languages like C and TROF. The Unix system had a profound influence on other operating systems by revolutionizing interactivity and offering software for educational use at a low cost. Initially crafted in assembly language, Unix quickly transitioned to the C programming language. Unix's straightforward file model treated all files as basic byte arrays, simplifying the file system hierarchy by incorporating machine services and devices. This approach introduced a uniform interface, necessitating additional mechanisms like IOCTL and mode flags for accessing hardware features beyond the standard byte stream model. The operating system's hierarchical file system with nested subdirectories, inspired by Multics, popularized the concept. Unix further solidified its impact by making the command interpreter a standard user-level program, allowing for the addition of new commands without altering the shell itself and promoting the use of pipelines for producer-consumer processes. Unix's emphasis on new-line delimited text for file formats, rather than binary data, enhanced scalability and portability. By focusing on text and byte manipulation, Unix ensured broad applicability and fostered the development of powerful programming paradigms. The system's dedication to online documentation and providing access to system source code elevated programmer expectations and contributed to the emergence of the free software movement in 1983. Furthermore, Unix's influence extended to the development of TCP IP networking protocols, which significantly contributed to the rapid expansion of the Internet. The creation of free Unix-like systems, such as Linux distributions and BSD Unix derivatives, marked a significant milestone in the evolution of operating systems. Projects like GNU and Linux, along with BSD Unix variants, proliferated, offering users freedom to use, modify, and redistribute the software. The modular design of Unix facilitated the sharing of components among different Unix and Unix-like systems, leading to their widespread adoption across various platforms and markets. Dennis Ritchie acknowledged the impact of Linux and BSD Unix as continuations of the Unix design, underscoring their roots in the foundational ideas conceived by the pioneers of Unix. Open Solaris, a derivative of Solaris, represented another foray into the open-source Unix realm until its discontinuation by Oracle, prompting the development of Illumos as an active open-source System V derivative. AT&T initially prohibited licensees from using the Unix name, leading Microsoft to dub its version Xenix. In October 1988, AT&T allowed the Unix trademark for systems based on System V release 3.2 under specific conditions. Novel, holding the Unix System V source rights then, passed Unix trademarks to X Open Company, now the Open Group, in October 1993, and later sold related business operations to Santa Cruz Operation in 1995. A lawsuit in 2006, SCO v. Novel, revolved around whether Novel sold the software copyrights in addition to the trademarks, a case won by Novel. The United States Court of Appeals for the Tenth Circuit upheld this decision on August 30, 2011, marking the conclusion of the lawsuit. The Unix trademark now belongs to the Open Group, and only systems complying with the single Unix specification can be branded as Unix, with others termed Unix-like. The term Unix is more descriptive of an OS class than a specific system, with systems meeting the open group specifications eligible for Unix 98 or Unix 03 trademarks upon payment of certification and royalties to the open group. Various operating systems are licensed to use the Unix trademark, including AIX, Mac OS, and Solaris, among others. Euler OS and Inspur KUX, certified as Unix 03 compliant Linux distributions, are notable mentions. Notations like Unix are used to denote Unix-like systems, with the open group emphasizing the use of Unix as an adjective followed by a generic term to prevent genericized trademarks. The formatting Unix has been disputed and replaced by Unix due to once being typeset in small caps. The term Unix is often erroneously written in all uppercase but is not an acronym. Various entities in different countries hold Unix as a trademark for diverse products, prompting the casual use of plural forms like Unixes or Unices to refer to multiple brands of Unix and Unix-like systems.